With the concept of the infinitesimal cube in mind, let's have a look at the nine components of a stress state. Here, the three normal phases to the coordinate system are marked by different colors. The red one is the normal phase to x-axis, green one is the normal phase to y-axis, and blue one is the normal phase to z-axis. On each of these phases, there are three stress components in different directions. Note the two indices of these components here. The first index represents the normal phase, and the second index represents the direction of the component. For example, sigma xx is the stress component on the normal phase x pointing in the x direction. Sigma xy is the stress component on normal phase x pointing in y direction. Or sigma yz is the one on the normal phase y pointing in the z direction. These nine components naturally form a mathematical object, tensor, which is written as a 3x3 three three matrix. The first row of this stress tensor are components on the normal phase x, second row are the ones on normal phase y, and the third row are the ones on normal phase z. Each component of the stress tensor corresponds to a load condition. The three diagonal ones are normal stresses representing uniaxial load condition in normal direction x, y, and z. The off-diagonal components are all shear stresses, representing shear load. The shear stress components are symmetric, which means stress xy equals to stress yx, stress xz equals to stress zx, and stress yz equals to stress zy. For easier notation, a stress tensor is often expressed in vector format. Naturally, since there are nine components, it should be recorded as a 9 by 1 vector. However, because of the symmetry, we can reduce the size of the vector to 6 by 1. Here in the stress vector, the first three components are the normal stresses, and the later three components are shear stresses.